not sure we'll get as many goals here as we had in the uh, semi-final earlier today. The United States victorious by three goals to one in that one against the French. But a mistake is made there, and Erquist here for Sweden has a chance to give her side the lead. It's a brilliant strike! And Josephine Erquist brings Frankfurt to its feet. This was the mistake that was made, it was popped across there, she bisected that central defence, and Josephine Erquist, whose previous World Cup goal came eight years ago against Argentina, has got one that may be even more precious. There is Sawanel, who actually made her league debut at the age, can you believe this, of 12. Here's a super little run, just outside the edge of the area there, and it was oh no, now it's Miyama, and Japan have an equaliser! But how unlikely is this, it's a headed goal from the player brought in, Kawasumi! It was a beautifully pieced together move, Delightfully constructed, Sawa was at the heart of it initially, and then the cross-in is absolutely perfect for the little stooping header. Well, I'm not quite sure what it came off there. This is Japan's latest attack. Plenty of blue shirts around in here, and they try to play control football again, and decisive football, go for goal, and Dole makes the save. Well, she has been an inspired selection, Nohomi Kawasumi. All credit to the coach for picking her. A chance for Japan to take the lead for the first time. Aya Miyama will set her sights. And it's just tipped around the uprights. Lindahl does her job well. Miyama knows exactly where she wants it to go, curls it just over the wall, fractionally, that's super technique. And uh, must be headed by Tunebru, she doesn't do so convincingly, and uh, Japan will continue with Ono, who goes for goal! What a thriller! That, I think, would have ranked as goal of the World Cup from the right boot of Shinobu Ono here. She just looks up, a glance, and whacks it. Sylvia Knight, the coach of the German side, has been much uh, discussion as to whether she will continue in that role. I think she said she wants to carry on. Clever ball, Kinga now for Japan. Twisting and turning, trying to get the uh, better of the opponent. Knocks it back, here's the uh, cross from Ono. It might drop here. And it does drop, and they're all ganging up. And this is the Samashima. Good ball in! Linda! of her glittering career. Funny goal, this one. Oh, no, delivered initially. Then uh, Kawasumi. Samashima launched it back in. Onside, Sawa. Remember, she scored twice with her head in this tournament, and she scored the third with her head. And Amari Sawa is the top scorer in the Women's World Cup of 2011. Japan are in control for the moment and in possession. Miyama, look at this for a ball. Keeper off the line, Linda. She could get lobbed if this is accurate. It's more than accurate. It's absolutely sensational. A stunning strike, a second of the match for Kawasumi. And it's all turning right for Japan. It's all turning horribly wrong for Sweden. But you have to admire the technique here. Lindell again has come dashing from her goal. I think she thought she had to do, but from fully 30, maybe even 35 yards out, Kawasumi has hit the jackpot. She's got two goals for Japan, who are at this moment on their way to a World Cup final for the first time in their history against the United States of America. And they're going to give a well-earned rest and a, an opportunity for an ovation for Nahomi Kawasumi. That's, I'm afraid, is it. That ends the night, and the Japanese celebrate. They are through to a World Cup final for the first time in their history. They have beaten Sweden by three goals to one. <laughs>